हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू द न्यू वीडियो इन दिस फ्रीक्वेंसी के प्रॉब्लम मैक्सिमम डिफरेंस बिटवीन नोड एंड एंसेस्टर्स एंड दिस प्रॉब्लम इज आज बाय अमेजोन गूगल एंड फेसबुक इन लास्ट वन ईयर सो इन द लास्ट सिक्स मंथ्स इट हैज नॉट बीन दैट फ्रीक्वेंट बट इन द लास्ट वन ईयर इट हैज बीन लेट्स सी वो प्रॉब्लम सेज द प्रॉब्लम सेज दैट वी आर गिवन द रूट फॉर श्योर इफ वी आर हैविंग अ बाइनरी ट्री और अ ट्री वी आर यूजली ओनली गिवन द रूट इट सेल्फ बिकॉज फ्रॉम देयर वी कैन इजली स्टार्ट ट्रैवर्सिंग वी फाइंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द मैक्सिम वैल्यू वी विच मीन्स वी इज नथिंग बट वी हैव टू डिफरेंट नोट्स ए एंड बी देन it's the difference value absolute again that's a absolute this is a modulus which represents the absolute difference value between a and b so for sure if we want this v to be maximum again we want this v which is the absolute difference between a and b value we want this value to be maximum v value to maximum so what we can do is we can just take this as the maximum value we can take this b as the minimum value If this is maximum, if this is minimum of the entire tree, then for sure I can easily say that uh, my v will be maximum. So it just says that uh, now um, how this a and b are defined? It is saying that node a is an ancestor of node b. Oh, so a should be the parent of node b. If either any child of A is equal to B or any child of A is an ancestor of B, so child of A is equal to B or any child of A is an ancestor of B. Basically, like let's say if I have a C which is an ancestor of B, so with that also I can easily say that okay, it's true. it is true now the first question which you might say is bhaiya you told that this a value needs to be maximum and b value needs to be minimum so shall i say that i will take my ancestor as the maximum value and the current node as the minimum value are you saying this to take which means are you saying that uh, let's say if i am here so 8 will be for sure it needs to be maximum right so 8 will be big and 14 will be small but it is not small so this will not form a ancestor pair which means it is not maximum then it is not more than this 8 is not more than 14 so it should not form this pair but no i'll say it's a absolute value so i can write the same thing also as b minus a which means for sure this can be a maximum value this can be a minimum value right so any node any node again a needs to ancestor of b that is true which means a and b only needs to be two different node in the level or basically in the path of the tree from root to node like root to the leaf node a and b should be there either a here or b here or a here or b here it can be like this so if we go back and see in this example that this is one path which we can have this is again one path which we can have and again from root to ancestor this is again next path which we can have this is again next path which we can have so basically out of all these four paths i have to get in that okay what can be the maximum value of a minus b and again i just wanted to maximize my a and minimize my b and again that can be any node any node a can be any node it's just that it has to be a different node than that of my b node okay now uh, bhaiya why is that different needed because you saw that if it is a same then for sure the answer would actually be a zero so we just wanted that to maximize it we want to have these as a different node itself so what i and by this you can see okay a was actually a 8 and b is actually a 1 which will give you the maximum difference which is actually a 7 and that's how you can simply solve this now coming on that how we can do it as we saw that we'll just keep track of the maximum and the minimum value along a path as we go on from root to all the leaves so i can simply start from the root which means i'll simply say okay write down the maximum value is 8 minimum value is 8 and then i'll go on to my leaf node okay 
and sorry, I, I go on to my next nodes and again that's a simple DFS, DFS traversal which I can do. I can just simply call for left and right and asking for what is the maximum difference which you can give. So what he will do is by going down, he will update his maximum and minimum value. Okay, he'll update the maximum which is actually it will still remain 8. Minimum will update it to 3. Okay, he'll go down, then he'll update the maximum to maximum is still same, minimum becomes 1. Now he'll go down. Oh, it has become null. Now when it becomes null. I should okay my entire path has been traversed when it becomes null which means okay my entire from root to leaf which means all these things are actually traversed when all this is traversed now you should find out okay what is the maximum value as you want your v was absolute of a minus b now find out what is the maximum value of v so he will say the maximum value of v is 8 minus 1 because up till so far I have updated both my maximum and the minimum values with the corresponding maximum and the minimum so i have i i know okay what is the maximum value or the maximum difference value here so i'll update this and i'll i'll get a seven so now what will happen is he will simply return this number seven seven now bhaiya why is this returned can't we simply update it globally yeah you can uh, globally have a variable called as answer which you can update it uh, every time you reaches you reach a null node so that is also what you can do bhaiya why can't i update it every step which means here also let's say you came in here let's say i update here firstly my answer I update here also my answer I update here also my answer and then at null also my answer yeah you can do that also that also is very much okay it's just that that will be much more redundant because for sure in this path you would have grabbed what is it maximum maximum value and what's the minimum minimum value for sure so ultimately you can check in the end itself so that's uh, much more easy for you to check now okay we'll do, we'll do the same thing for this path so when it was traversing down it had got its maximum minimum like this now when it will go it has traversed here it has returned him the answer as 7 now he will go down and he will say okay i'll update my maximum and minimum values okay maximum will up not be updated because it is 8 and 6 is less than 8 and again minimum is less than 6 also again maximum minimum will still remain same so he will also compute the answer because next value is null he will also compute the answer because same way he'll also go down again he will compute the answer both will compute the answer as current existing answer is equals to uh, maximum of answer comma uh, this value which is here it has computed 8 minus 3 5 so now they can simply return this value so uh, from my answer which means from my left portion i'll get in as a value of 5 but uh, for sure i'll have the maximum value in my answer so i can again there are multiple ways to solve it you can also initialize globally and also you can update it locally right so he will say okay maximum answer will actually be a 7 from left side now the same way maximum value minimum value is 8 8 maximum value is updated to 10 again maximum value updated to 14 maximum value updated to uh, still remain at 14 because the value is 13 now i will compute my answer so it will be 14 minus 8 which is actually is 6 but still you will see that okay it will return 6 return 6 so from right i get a 6 from left i'll get a 7 maximum value from left is like maximum value from left is 7 from right is actually a 6 so for sure i'll take a maximum which is left from left like from left and from right so i'll get a 7 as the maximum value from total so that is how i can simply get my answer and this was the answer for me so if we go on the code it's as simple as that firstly if my base case if my root is null then I'll simply return a 0 because for sure I cannot. Now I'll simply have a function called as maxtip. It's, it's just a recursive function. I'll call a root. I'll give the I'll give the current node value, which is the current. See, I have to maintain my current max and my current min. So I'm just doing that while maintaining while going down itself in the tree i'm maintaining that so um i as soon as i land on to this max diff function which is the same function right here first base case is okay if i have reached the null as i showed you i should have to return the maximum minimum value 
as you saw that when I have reached the null, I was computing this maximum, this maximum minus this minimum value. And this is what I got as the answer. Now, when this portion is done, I will go and find my maximum value, which is maximum of this maximum current value and the node value, but just maximizing my, my maximum value, just minimizing my minimum value. And then both values I have, I simply call my max for left if which means calling for left and passing in the maximum and the minimum value and same for the max right diff which means calling for the right and passing the maximum and the minimum value now when i have the maximum from the left and maximum from the right i'll simply take the maximum to return to my final answer as you saw when i have maximum from the left maximum from the right i'll simply take the maximum of both of them to return in the final answer and that's what i am doing right here and that's how you can simply solve it in o of n time and o of n space because o of n time because you are traversing on all the nodes of the tree and O of n space because in worst case your recursive stack can be a screwed tree and that can go very deep which means just a like this a straight a straight kind of a tree and that's how you can simply solve it so i hope that you guys got this bye bye